the time has finally come. Cardano's biggest hard fork or biggest upgrade to date is right around the corner. Now I'm referring to none other than the chain hard fork, introducing governance on one of the most already secure and decentralized blockchains. Now, welcome to Dapp Central. My name's Fareed. As a part of today's video, we're breaking down Cardano node version 9.0 in everything that we know about it so far. As always, if you guys do appreciate updates like these, I would appreciate you if you could smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by, consider subscribing. And last but not least, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, then leave them down below. Now, what's interesting is that we've been awaiting this particular node version for quite a bit of time. We've gone through about four or five different eras, right? And now we're at the final stage with respect to governance. So as a part of today's video, I want to talk about what we know so far and exactly what we can expect throughout the month of July going into August, September, and then the actual Cardano constitution being signed in December, an extremely pivotal time here for the entire Cardano ecosystem. Now, this was released earlier by the Intersect MBO reading Cardano node version 9.0 is officially here. This release wraps up the primary development for on-chain governance and kicks off ecosystem driven testing. Now, I want to be very, very clear here. There's going to be two portions of the Ching hard fork. Portion number one, which is introduced with Cardano node version 9.0, basically um, bootstraps the entire ecosystem and provides all of the groundwork and infrastructure to be able to execute governance on Cardano. Now, we're going to have a second portion or a second update, which will require for nodes or operators to also update as well as exchanges. And I'm actually going to talk a little bit more about those here in just a minute. But when that second update takes place, that's when we're going to see all of the features actually being turned on and governance actually beginning with the push into a brand new era, which is also known as Voltaire. So let's take a look here. If you guys want to find out more about the actual release, do keep in mind that all of the code repositories have been shifted over to the responsibility of the Intersect MBO. And again, here, I'll leave the link to that down below. But this was released about two days ago stating node version 9.0 is a major release for the Cardano node that contains all the changes that are needed for the Conway Ledger era, including on-chain governance via SIP number 1694, as well as added support for Plutus view and re reference scripts and Plutus script signature support via SIP number 69. Now, it's always recommended that SPOs go ahead and upgrade as quickly as possible. If you're not aware, upgrades don't necessarily happen at a particular date. It actually requires for the majority of the SPOs as well as centralized exchanges to upgrade before um, everything actually happens for everybody else. So do keep that in mind. The community is in full control of when the actual chain hard fork happens. The quicker we upgrade or the quicker we hit that 75% majority um, using or um, working on node version number nine, the faster that that will then be the core version running for Cardano. Now, Let's talk a little bit more about some of the details here, and then we'll take a look at the actual roadmap or the timeline for chain. So it states here in terms of the impact for this particular hard fork on the ecosystem, this will include a couple of different stakeholders. Again, we need stake pool operators or SPOs to be on board. We have to have exchanges also on board. Again, think of the impact that somebody like Binance or even Coinbase has when they're not up to standard um, and they hold millions, if not billions of ADA, right? That leaves a huge um, community that's basically impacted by incompatibility issues. And so therefore we have to make sure that centralized exchanges are also updated before the actual chain hard fork takes effect. In addition, we have dApps or the different protocols that are building right now using different types of Plutus that could be V1 or V2. Keep in mind that with the introduction of V3, which I believe should be included um, as a part of chain, that there will be some um, compatibility issues there as well, right? So there may be smart contracts that use a certain type of code or certain types of functions that may have been updated or deprecated causing different types of issues. So um, DAP developers or DAP builders also have to make sure that they've tested their platform, right? On the latest sandbox version um, of Chang. And so we're gonna talk about the different environments as well, because again, keep in mind, we don't just push a hard fork directly to the main net. It has to go through the preview um, and then the pre-prod test nets before it's actually pushed to mainnet. Last but not least, we have the governance bodies, right? So this includes the constitutional committee and delegate representatives or DREPs who have to complete their onboarding before we can actually move over into chain. Now, keep in mind that Charles has put up, I believe it's over a million, maybe $2 million 
of his own finances to be able to fly out all of the members of the um, interim constitutional committee, which were just voted in about a week ago um, to Colorado for a dedicated workshop surrounding SIP number 1694 and their role as the first ever constitutional committee. So those are all the different stakeholders that have to be on board before we can actually see Chang beginning to kick off. Next, I want to talk about the actual timeline. And so again, um, let me just quickly pull this up here. We have two portions. And so if I go ahead and just maybe just make this a little bit bigger here, um, we have Chang version upgrade number one, which will deploy governance features to Cardano as we enter the technical bootstrapping phase. And this is, is exactly what's being outlined as a part of this diagram here. So in June, we got the release of node version 8.12, which is currently what the majority of stake pool operators are currently running. We just got on July 8th, the release of Cardano node version 9.0. Now, as a part of a sub-step, we do need the node to pass certain benchmarking and performance metrics. Once that happens, the preview environment will then be upgraded to um, Chang version 9.0, followed by the pre-production environment. Now, once we get to the pre-production environment, um, we will be asked, and when I say we, that's in reference to the SPOs and exchanges and dApps, will be asked to upgrade to 9.0 on pre-prod and on mainnet. Now, this is all um, basically betting that there's no critical issues or outstanding problems that are found during the process. And then we have some time in July, again, we don't have a specific date, um, we should see SPOs and exchanges actually using, right, Chang version or Cardano node version 9.0 on the main net. Now we can see here that following that there will be a minor update, right? Where there's going to be a new version released, which is 9.01. And then again, the SPOs exchanges adapts will be asked to upgrade to that particular version. And then sometime in August, it looks like as long as we meet the 70% um, onboarding for SPOs and the 80% uh, update for exchanges, then version 9.01 will fully go into effect. Now, I want to be clear here that the, this particular timeline does not include the second portion, which actually takes Chang out of the technical bootstrapping phase and brings it into full governance. So do keep that in mind there as well. Now, in closing, I do want to quickly take a look at exactly how much progress we've made so far. Again, I'll leave the link to this down below as always. But as you guys can see here, um, we do have the Let's see here, current node reporting versions with the outstanding majority, which is 33% at version 8.9.4. And then right now at 12%, we've got 9.0.0. So SPOs have been pretty quick on the trigger here, making sure to upgrade their nodes as quickly as possible. I'll be working on that myself here as an operator of the DAP Central Stake Pool. As always, if you guys would like to support the channel, make sure to consider delegating with the official DAP Central Stake Pool which is stake pool ticker DAPP right now. Not only will you earn your traditional ADA rewards, you'll also earn the Matera utility token, the Seri utility token, and the Tokyo utility token, given the fact that the DAP Central stake pool is a partner pool with all three of those stake pools. Now, this is just an introduction to all of the details and minutia surrounding the chain hard fork. I wanted to get this video out here pretty quickly, um, but I will have more in-depth content breaking down exactly what we can expect and when we can expect for all that to happen. So. That'll bring us to a closer for today's video. I hope you guys found this to be helpful. If you did, please make sure to go ahead and smash that thumbs up. If it's your first time stopping by and you want more content just like this, consider subscribing to DAP Central. And last but not least, if you have any questions for me or just want to leave your opinion down below, then go ahead and do so down there in that comment section. That said, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video.